All right, folks, good morning. Battled some technology issues this morning, but we're getting there. And so uh, kind of held up on another class, which held me up on this class. But this is the fun part. We're going to build the wing, uh, the fuselage, excuse me. Uh, we Excuse me. We built the fuselage. We built the wing. Now we're going to just finish up the tail, balance it, and know how to fly it. I strongly suggest you wait for a calm day. Last time I looked outside, it was very windy. Don't throw them out there. You're just going to break your airplane. So when you when you submit this, after you have the tail on, I want a still picture of that, but then I want a picture of you flying the plane and a good level flight. So let's go ahead, finish up the tail. It's a pretty straightforward kind of tail. Watch this. We're ready to move on to the next step, which is to put our tail on and our wing on. So we have our fuselage in this step, we have our elevator, and we have our vertical stabilizer or rudder. The Technically, the vertical stab is this front part, the rudder's in the back, for those in need. That's a movable so, so it's a movable surface. This is the horizontal stabilizer, the elevator's the part that moves. We're not, we're just going to slightly adjust them. We're not putting RC in our planes today. Elevator gives us pitch control and stability on pitch. Our rudder gives us stability on the vertical line and also our yaw control. To prep this, all I need to do is just simply pop out the center pieces. And I'm also going to take this score line and face it down against the table. Our next step is to give the elevator and rudder a test fit. I'm going to slide this in, just like you see here. And if I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and glue it in place. Have some scrap material there to wipe off the edges when you do this, folks. Take a little scrap piece of foam, wipe off the excess. I'm just going to take my gift card and make sure it stays nice and square. Now that everything's glued together, we're going to go ahead and place this down on our fuselage by taking the tab through the bottom slot and rocking it until it's firmly against the bottom. You're going to see the bottom of the rudder pop out to act as a skid. Now in some of our FT STEM projects, we actually have where the students can build a different tail. If you're doing the STEM project, you don't actually need to glue the elevator and rudder in place. You can actually pass a barbecue skewer through and key it in. For this, I'm going to be tossing it with my friends. I want it to be nice and durable. So I'm going to go ahead and take my hot glue gun and I'll put a little bit of glue on both sides. Once again, I can come back a little squeegee. Nice and square. This, what he means by that, this is a place for when the plane lands, it can rub on this and not break your tail. Squeegee off the excess. So we have our fuselage done. Let's go ahead and take our barbecue skewer now. Pass the barbecue skewer through. So see if you can find something that will act as a barbecue skewer, skewer and you're going to need some rubber bands. All right. So when your folks go grocery shopping, you can get the skewer there. Folks get the rubber band, you can do this. As far as actually, I want to see that the tail is finished, but the actual flying part will wait till the conditions. I'll give you a solid week. So that way you can get to the grocery store to get the skewer or um, rubber bands if you need those. But don't do this. Don't wait a week. And then Monday, you're bothering your parents at Sunday night at 9 o'clock at night because you didn't get the skewers and you don't have the rubber bands. This is something you finish it now. You let your folks know that when they're at the grocery store to pick this up. Okay? Through the holes that are on the kit itself. I'm going to pass this through. I'm going to leave about the width of a finger on each side. And then with a razor blade or with a pair of scissors, I can... Notice this guy does this all the time. Notice how he gets his fingers the heck out of the way. Simply score the edge and crack it loose. I'm going to have two pieces... Score the edge means you just count the outside outside of it, so that when you snap it, it'll break clean. The exact same size. So let's go ahead and make those now. There's one. And there's two. So now we're going to go ahead and take our two rubber bands that were supplied in our kit. And you're going to notice that we have two little notches and two center of gravity dots right here. We're going to take our two notches, line them up with the fuselage like you see here. That's to keep your wing straight. And we're simply going to go ahead and rubber band our wing on. 
and they go across. You want your wing to be nice and centered so the plane will fly straight. So now our airframe looks complete, but it truly will not fly until we do one final step, and that is adjust the center of gravity. For every airplane, you need to have the center of gravity proper because if it's too nose heavy, it'll fly like a dart, and if it's too tail heavy, it'll just kind of flip through the air. To get our center of gravity where we want it, we're going to take this one ounce. Okay, that's one ounce of iron right there. We're not going to um, have that. You're going to have to find either some pennies, quarters work, and like I said before, have some kind of, uh, I want to say silly putty, that's not uh, Play-Doh will work. Clay works even better. Um, coins that are taped. But you're going to need to add some weight to the far nose and then balance the airplane. Sticky back metal weight. And we're going to move it back and forth until our center of gravity is proper. The easiest way to tell is we're just going to place this down loose. I'm going to move it all the way forward. And I'm going to put my two fingers right over the dots on the wing. I'm going to hold this up. And what I'm looking for is for it to be level or slightly nose down. Always levels best, but if it's slightly nose down, that's okay. You never, you don't want it nose up because you're throwing it into a stall. Then, once we're happy with where that is, we can go ahead and remove the tape and stick it in place. Now, if you're unsure about where your center of gravity should be or you want to change the characteristics, you can simply tape this inside of your fuselage, and that way it's adjustable for later. For this one, I know this all the way up in the nose. And that's right where I'm going to put it. I'm going to close the hatch. Our next step is the fun part. We get to go play toss with a friend and adjust the elevator and the rudder to make it fly as far as possible. All right, Alex, go long. <laughs> awesome. Now, if your plane pitches down, you can simply bend the elevator up just a little bit. And if the plane pitches up, you can bend the elevator down a little bit or adjust your center of gravity again. Now, friends, a quick tip whenever you're launching a plane is you don't throw it like a football where you can't marry it. You throw it like a dart. So I'm looking right now where I want to toss it to. In this case, it's Alex's uh, chest, and I'm going to throw it right towards it. All right. I want to thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Also, flight is magical, whether it's RC or whether it's free flight. One thing we're really passionate about and we want to see you do is create, build, and fly together. I hope this is a, a fun inspiration for you. I hope you take on this challenge and please feel free to check out our other builds as you get more and more accomplished we'll see you next time Lunch. okay i gotta watch look at the guy behind him watch this this is childish on my part all right i want to thank you for being part of the flight test family also flight is magical whether it's our seat look at the guy walking behind him right now one thing we're really passionate about we want to see you do is i don't know what he's doing fly there. together I hope this is a, a fun inspiration for you. I hope you take on this challenge. And please feel free to check out our other builds as you get more and more accomplished. We'll see you next time. Oh, well, just being silly. Photo bombing it. Okay, folks, let's get it built. Tomorrow, pictures of the tail. So I know you know you made progress. Giving you a little bit of time to find the materials. Told you about this last week, but let's get them now. And then um, as you get them finished, Throw some, hopefully outside, weather's, when the weather's nice. And uh, I hope you uh, go ahead. Just, I need a video of it flying. All right? Okay, I hope you have a good one now. Bye-bye.